What's up, y'all? Back at it on a sit down with Mark this time, man. I tried something a little different. I tried stream yard, stream yard, something new for me. But you learn something new every day, so I'm definitely enjoying it. This time, I had a chance to sit down with Miss Londa, uh, entrepreneur, CEO, man. The lady does it all. I'm very involved, heavily in community work and helping young, young, the young generation out. Ask y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all check this out. I ain't gonna hold you too long. Um, for, I know a little bit about you, but for my, my viewers and newcomers, tell me just a little bit about, a little bit more. All right, so my name is Miss Londa. Um, in Minnesota. I'm a host of podcast Sip and Talk with Miss Londa. I've been a host uh, since 2020. Um, I also have an international online TV network, Queens Talk TV, Morning Entertainment. Um, I started this network in 2022. Um, we stream through Roku, we stream through Amazon, the Google Play Store, the Apple Store, as well as the website. And I'm also currently working on the TV reality show called Plus Size Baddies. I'm also the founder and owner of nonprofit Dirty Wings Incorporated, which is geared towards single women with children and teen girls. You do it all. You you the goat for real. You, Thank you, you. for real, for real, the goat. Um we're gonna jump right into this thing. Just talk about your thought process and what made you want to get involved with TV and start your own network? So um, originally it was just a podcast and then I had met someone who, who had a TV network and I was kind of like working with their TV network, but things wasn't working out. So I decided, how do I get a Roku channel? And then during that research, it led me to me having a whole network. And so I began building my own network um i have a hundred channels i've categorized 43 categories and so yeah that's pretty much how it happened but uh being in the media world world has become a passion for me yeah yeah, yeah. um i think the same thing when i first started i was kind of new to this but i think the more and more i do it the more repetition the, I say it ain't even hard no more. It's done got fun once you figure it out. It's, yeah. it's like clockwork. Um, talk about your nonprofit, Lady Zenia. Did I say that Lady right? Zenius. It's Lady Zenius. And, and just Lady Zenia. And talk about the vision for that. So, the vision for that is to help single women with children with different resources like housing, utility help. Um, women who's dealing with domestic abuse, trauma, things of that nature. I have a program that I'm working on, which is called TAFS, and that's Teens Aiming for Success. This is a program for teen girls 16 to 21. They'll come through the program. There are certain categories that they have to go through in order to basically graduate the program. But the incentive at the end of the program is to be able to put them in housing and help them with first and last month's rent, uh, household essentials, furniture, things of that nature. Um, for the first six months after graduating the program and being in their own place, we're going to do like weekly visits just to make sure they're maintaining employment, you know, housing, you know, following through on their priorities to keep that uh, sustainability. Sustainability, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is good. That is that's good. Um, like I said, you you the goat for real because you really put it out there. With yeah. all you got going on, and you definitely driven from day to day. Um, talk about Queens Talk, and what can what, what can people expect that ain't never seen it before? So Queens Talk TV is a distribution and production company. So we distribute people's content. If you if you have short films, if you have movies, TV shows that you would like to have distributed, we do that. If you have show ideas or movie ideas and you need production assistance, we also offer that. So this uh, network isn't just created for our content, it's created for others as well. And um, we're not 
we're not big on numbers. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter if you got five followers, if you have the talent and you're willing to put the work in and you, hey, we want to work with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's up. If you had the chance to work with any celebrity, any celebrity, give me at least two good ones. Who would they be and why? I would like to work with Tanisha Thomas. Um, she used to be on the Bad Girls Club back in the days. Um, I like her uh, overall demeanor, um, the way she carries herself. Um, and I think for the show that I'm working on, Plus Size Baddies, I think that she would be a good fit for that. I've been hashtagging her, so I don't know if she's paying attention or not. <laughs> and I've sent her a couple of emails, but yeah. Um, Tanisha Thomas, and then um, I don't really have any other celebrities, honestly. That's the only one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last question, I will let you go. For people to keep in touch with you and, and follow what you got going on, tell them, shout out to social media and how they can stay in touch. All right, so you can follow me on Instagram. I have a Plus Size Baddies page on there as well as a Queens Talk TV page. I also have a Queens Talk TV and Plus Size Baddies page on Facebook. There's a Queens Talk TV page on YouTube as well, where we'll be dropping promo videos, trailers, interviews things of that nature so if you guys want to keep up and follow what's going on because we will be starting to film in the spring april so stay tuned we got auditions coming up there's like a lot of things that you guys might want to follow and see yo y'all heard what she said miss londa i thank you for your time thank you thank you for having me yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. We'll stay in touch. Yes. Have a good day.